want to welcome you to the first episode of So You Want to Be a CPA series. Today's topic is So You Didn't Study Business and Want to Be a CPA. In today's session, we are going to go over the professional entry requirements for those who have met the degree, but just didn't study business, and they're not sure where they should start their CPA pathway. We'll also do an overview of the prerequisite courses, the time frame, as well as the modality of the preparatory courses. We will also touch on how working towards your CPA can open up for new employment opportunities for you and how you can acquire experience while you study. So now we're going to be looking at the intro requirements for the CPA professional education program and how that will look different for each of you who have not studied business. So first things first, to be able to begin the CPA professional education program, we do assess two criteria. The first is being a 120 credit hour degree. Now, you don't have to have a degree that is business or even accounting focused. You could have a degree in engineering, uh, nursing, folklore, or any other program, and you would still be granted access to the CPA program. The other option that we have, if you uh, need to be, is the eight years of practical work experience. However, for those who may not hold a degree, there is a pathway available based on relevant work experience which we will cover in our, so you don't have a degree and want to be a CPA session later on down the road. However, today's content focuses mainly on the pathway for those who do hold a degree, but it wasn't business related. So in addition to the degree or eight years of work experience, there are 14 prerequisite courses that are required for entry into the CPA professional education program. Now you actually may be exempt from some of these courses, you know, based on having completed an equivalent course as part of your, you know, prior education or your degree. So what I mean by that is, so for example, if you've completed um, some statistics course as part of your engineering degree, or you may have completed some business law courses with your law degree, you may have full exemption from those courses as part of the CPA preparatory courses. Now, the CPA preparatory courses are offered by the CPA Atlantic School of Business, and they do consist of highly accelerated part-time online study modules that help you pick up any prerequisites that you are missing to be eligible and well prepared for the CPA professional education program. So now that you know what the entry requirements are, we're going to be looking at the preparatory courses. They are divided into two categories. The first are the non core courses. These are the more general business courses. Uh, so after having completed an eligibility assessment with us, students can register for non-core courses any day of the year, as these courses do not have specific start dates. They are delivered in a self-study format with open enrollment. And what I mean by that is you can register for any non-core course at any time and take as long as you need to. Um, as long as you complete that course's examination within one year of the course start date. So the first two courses that you see there are the introductory financial accounting and introductory management accounting. And those are the prerequisites for all of the core courses. So when you register, you can choose from one of the five examination dates per year that best meet your needs as well as your personal schedule. These are designed for full-time working professionals, so you can easily work while you are studying. The time commitment for non-core courses is really dependent on how quickly you wish to complete your courses. So for example, uh, students electing to complete their course within a 12-week period 
can expect to spend at least, you know, five to 10 study hours per week on the non-core courses, depending on their prior accounting knowledge. However, students who are, you know, less familiar with the accounting principles and concepts or who wish to accelerate their courses to take less than 12 weeks to, to complete um, would, you know, spin up towards 15 to even 20 study hours per week or more. So it really does depend on your study habits and how familiar you are with the course concepts. The evaluation of the non-core courses will be based 100% on the final examination. Students will need to achieve a 50% to pass the exam as well as the course. The non-core course um, costs 560 plus HST per course. You also have to pay your annual student dues while you're an active preparatory course student which will be invoiced with your first course registration and then yearly thereafter. So now you've got an idea about the non-core preparatory courses. Now we're gonna be looking at the core courses. The core preparatory courses are more accounting focused and they are the foundational knowledge that you will need to acquire for the uh, professional education program. The core courses are offered five times per year, and these courses may be taken out of order, provided that the prerequisites for each course have been met. The courses are up to six weeks of course time with an in-person final examination in the seventh week. The required time uh, study time for the core courses is an estimated 15 to 20 study hours per week through an online study portal. So we do recommend that you take only one of these courses at a time, especially if you are working full time. However, the study time really depends on your schedule as well as your knowledge of the material. We do have options to help you to go faster. Uh, for example, if you aren't working while you're completing your studies, we can suggest more courses for you to complete at the same time or if you feel like you're able to complete more than one course while you are working, we can certainly help you plan based on your situation. The core courses do require a 60% passing grade with an overall 65% average, and they cost $730 plus HST per course. So now you've got an overall knowledge of the preparatory courses, Let's get started on how we can help with your career. While you may not be working while you start your preparatory courses, if that is the case, don't worry because it is not a requirement for those who are completing the courses. However, if you are working in the industry while you are studying, this could be beneficial for you. While you may not currently have a business background at the moment, Putting your eligibility on your resume or even your cover letter will assist you with obtaining interviews and even obtaining relevant employment within the sector. You know, showing your potential employers your progression plan or even your career plan as you complete your studies will allow you to move up the career ladder. You will get promotions and eventually land a job that you prefer. So, whether you plan to work in a more traditional accounting firm, or if you are more interested in building your career in the industry or even public sector, there is opportunities for advancements as you develop your knowledge in the CPA technical competency areas. So as you complete your preparatory courses, you will see career progression and more opportunities opening up for you as you start the professional education program. So for those who are actually working in the profession while you're completing your studies, your experience gained during your preparatory courses may count towards your overall practical work experience as we can take up to 12 months of prior work experience to make up for your total 30 months of practical work experience on the competency areas required. So once you enter the professional education program, our team will assist you to see what prior hours that you're eligible to report. 
And you can find all job opportunities and listings from excellent organizations on our website for those who are actively seeking employment or are currently on the job hunt. So now once you have met the degree requirement and you've completed the necessary 14 prerequisite courses, you will then enter the professional education program. The professional education program is a part-time online program and it is designed for full-time working professionals. So you are able to work full-time while you study. It consists of six eight-week modules. There are mandatory weekend workshops that you must attend and you have the support from CPA trained facilitators, instructors, and even a CPA mentor. So after you've completed the six modules, you will then write the common final examination. And as I mentioned previously, we can take up to 12 months of relevant work experience for your overall practical work experience component while you are studying and working in the profession. We do focus on six competency areas that you would have to report on in order to obtain your practical work experience. And once you've completed the 30 months of total work experience, you are now a certified CPA. So what are your next steps? You should start your registration. Get started. You need to complete an eligibility assessment to see what courses that you may have possible exemptions from and where you can begin your unique CPA pathway. The eligibility assessment form can be found on our website and that is the link that you can see right there. Uh, you will complete the online form and submit any transcripts or any supporting documents that is required directly to your advisor. Once you pay the assessment fee, the fee does vary on domestic versus international evaluations because of the timing and getting the proper documentations that was, will be required. Your file will be then reviewed to determine whether you're eligible for any possible exemptions and where you can start your CPA pathway. This is typically a four to six week process for domestic applicants and about a six to eight weeks um, process for international applicants. Next, connect with us. Reach out to your regional student recruitment advisor to discuss your unique situation and, you know, reach out to your student recruitment advisor for any assistance and guidance into your CPA pathway. And with that, thank you all so much for joining us in today's series and we will take any questions that are popping up now into the chat box. Thank you so much.